welcome to today's class today's revision chapter history chapter 8 vital villages and thriving towns in the beginning of the history we have seen the people they have started the cultivation first they were uh, nomads later they have settled in one place then they started the agriculture uh, then in this chapter we are looking the increase of production because the use of iron pressure and the transplantation of seeds by this they got more production so there comes the trading they want to sell their products so there come some of the towns so the emergence of new towns that things we are discussing in this chapter the important points you underline in your textbook itself iron is the important metal that is in our daily life the use of iron began in the subcontinent around 3000 years ago some of the largest collections of iron tools and weapons were found in the megalithic burials just underline megalithic burials around 2500 years ago they got the evidence of using iron tools the iron pressure underline iron pressure the iron pressure was useful for increasing agriculture production just underline increasing agriculture production the other methods they have used the irrigation and uh, transplantation just underline transplantation and for the irrigation purpose they have used the canals wells tanks and artificial lakes underline different people were lived in the villages in tamil region a large landowners were known as vellalar underline large landowners vellalar ordinary plugman ulavar underline ordinary plugman ulavar and the landless laborers slaves were known as kadasiyar and adimai underline kadasiyar and adimai in the northern part of the country village headman was known as gram bojaga underline village headman gram bojaga his position is uh, hereditary underline hereditary that means after him his son like that the generation to generation the Grama Vajaga was often the largest landowner, just underline, largest landowner, and the king used him to collect taxes from the village. Underline, king used him to collect taxes from the village. So uh, sometimes he may act as a policeman or as a judge. Underline, judge, policeman. Some independent farmers also were there in village, they were known as Grihabadis. They were smaller landowners, underline Grihabadis, smaller landowners. And some men and women, they known as Tasa Karmagara, they did not own their own land and they are working in the other person's land, underline Tasa Karmagara. And blacksmith, potters, carpenters and weavers also lived, craft persons, they also lived in the village, underline those words. The earliest Tamil composition, Sangam literature, was the famous one. Uh, it is composed around 2300 years ago. They assembled in one place. It was in Madhuri, underline Madhuri and Sangam literature. Jataka stories were composed by ordinary people and written down and preserved by Buddhist monks. Just underline Jatakas composed by ordinary people written preserved by buddhist monks underline these words from the jataka stories the clever poor man story we already heard that once a poor man lived there he he, he are only a dead rat and that he sell it to for a coin for the hotel owner there is a cat for him and by that uh, another day he went to the gardener, uh, gardener gave him a duty to clean the surroundings. He cleaned it with the help of some children and he offered some sweets for the children. And uh, at last he met some 500 grass cutters. He gave them some water. Then he told them, you want to help me some other days. Then one day he knew that one person is coming with some horses. 
then he told to the grass cutters that you want to give me one mandal grass each so uh, don't sell to others then like that he become rich so that is the story of from jatakas and the some of the evidence we are getting from the sculptures carved scenes depicting life of the people or the cities they have the sculptures they have decorated the railings and pillars and gateways this underline railings pillars and gateways and sculptures carved scenes they we are getting the evidence of the their life from these carvings many of the cities developed at that time and some of these cities were surrounded by the massive fortification walls they have used or built big walls to protect from the enemies the central line massive fortification walls the archaeologists have found some pots and ceramic rings arranged in top one top one on the top of the other these were known as ring wells central line ring wells they have used these ring wells in the toilets and the drainage and the garbage dumps underline those drainage and garbage dumps we did not have any remains of palaces markets or homes of ordinary people some have discovered by the archaeologists and uh, some account or detailed account about uh, these uh, cities or ports have given by one unknown greek sailor he wrote about the port which he visited he wrote about the port uh, barigasa it was a very narrow gulf and experienced or skillful person local fisherman they were employed by the king to steer the ships into the barigasa the important things in barigasa wine copper tin lead coral underline those things and uh, plants from himalayas uh, ivory those things were there cotton silk and special gift by the merchants to the king those things they the greek sailor have seen he wrote about the barigasa at that time the kings they were used the different types of coins for exchanging goods and punch marked coins they have used archaeologists found several thousands of coins belonging this period uh, the coins were not inscribed but were stamped with the symbols the center line it is not inscribed stamped with the symbols the symbol of any king or kingdom its shape is rectangular and sometimes square or round the center line rectangular square or round madura was the important city at that time uh, it was important because it was located at the cross roads of two major routes of travel and trade the center line travel and trade it is a major route from the northwest to the east and from north to south underline there were fortification around the city the city was fortified with the walls and there were several shrines the center line several shrines farmers and hiders were adjoining areas provided food for people of the city and madura was also center was extremely fine sculpture was produced the center line fine sculpture and madura become the second capital of kushan the center line madura second capital kushan madura was also a religious center the center line it's a religious center buddhist monasteries jaina shrines and it was an important center for worship of krishna the center line monasteries jaina shrines worship of krishna several inscription on surfaces of such stone slabs and statues have been found in madura the center line surfaces uh, such as stone slabs and statues they got the evidence of the activities that were happened in the city madura there were some short inscriptions these were made by kings and queens offices these got uh, inscriptions from madura and some inscription about gold smiths blacksmith weavers and the perfume is garland makers basket makers underline these they got the evidence the archaeologists got evidence of these persons those who lived in the cities 
there were craft persons also lived in the places cities uh, the main craft work were known as northern black polished ware nbpw underline it was the found in the northern part of subcontinent and the famous sendes at varanasi it was famous for the crafts and both men and women worked in these sendes just underline varanasi many merchants and the craft persons they made a uh, formed association it was known as shrinis just underline these trainees of craft persons provide training they were giving training and uh, raw material to the other people and giving loan to the others to uh, start new business and uh, the trainees also served as banks just underline trainees also served as banks they are giving the rich men they are depositing the money the others they are giving supporting with uh, the amount or the money and uh, religious institutions they are giving uh, or uh, giving as a grant or as a gift the rules and regulation of the spinning and weaving is given in the book arthashastra the book of kaudilya and uh, their persons those women they are working in the spinning mill if they are doing the work is uh, they are giving the wages and if they are not doing the right way they will be punished they want to pay fine other way and uh, her thumbs can be cut off so a uh, strict measures of punishment were given at that time harikamadu was the place in puducherry uh, it is a coastal settlement that means it is close to sea uh, ships were unloaded goods from distant lands from the uh, different lands they came to unload their goods and uh, big warehouses where there the central line warehouses and uh, pottery from mediterranean region the central line mediterranean region am fair told double handed jars that contain liquids such as wine or oil they have collected there and uh, some other things from italy and uh, roman lamps glassware and gems have been founded from there so that uh, it means the how trade relation with the roma and the smaller tanks they have found the archaeologists dyeing vase that they have used to dye the cloth and some precious semi precious stones and glass also found out from this area so it shows that uh, the traders have trade relation with the uh, land of india Rome was the capital of one of the largest empires on that spread across Europe North Africa Augustus was one of the most important emperor the central line Augustus and 2000 years ago said that he found Rome a city of brick and made into a city of marble the central line they also built a large huge amphitheaters open areas the central line amphitheaters surrounded by stairs of seats where citizens could watch all kinds of shows the uh, cultural programs are doing there in the amphitheaters we have seen the increase of production because of the use of iron tools and the irrigation irrigation and the transplantation of seeds they have used the irrigation facility for canals and uh, wells and uh, transplantation of seeds they are used to used to get the more production and large land owners and smaller land owners and craft persons slaves they also they all, all together lived in the village and village catman uh, if that person will be uh, large land owner and his position is hereditary after him his son will be the uh, next uh, village catman and then uh, sangam literature was there the madura was the center of uh, sangam literature and uh, jataka stories were there the jataka stories were written by the common people and it is uh, written down and uh, preserved by the buddhist monks and archaeologists found ring wells there they have used these ring wells in the drainage and uh, garbage systems and many coins are found out by the archaeologists 
Pachumaka coins were there, the symbol of the kings were stamped on the coins. And Madura was an important city, it was one of the religious town, and many uh, activities, trading activities happened in the city Madura. Then, next uh, craft thing was NBPW North End Black Polish where they have used the new method of making pots. And then, uh, association of trainees, the craft persons, they are giving uh, the rich traders, they deposit the money and they are giving or the supporting the smaller shop persons to buy or they are giving the training for them to develop their trade. And then Arikamadu was one of the uh, port city of uh, Puducherry and many uh, ships were loaded their articles from this Arikamadu port city and many evidence of uh, archaeologists found many evidence of glassware and other items. And then uh, Rome was one of the largest uh, city of at that time and uh, Augustus was the one of the greatest ruler in the Rome and uh, there they have built the amphitheater for the cultural program the old people can watch the programs and they have used for irrigation canals they have built for the irrigation so they got more production in the agriculture so uh, go through the textbook read it carefully